All right, what's up guys? It's your boy Ryan Deviant here and today bringing you guys workout vlog. We're gonna be doing back and buys today. It's been probably like two months since I uploaded anything workout related. I don't know, just being at home doing the same push-up routine and squats and just certain things over and over again, my body has basically become accustomed to it. And going from lifting really heavy weights at the gym to 20 pound resistance bands and dumbbells is just, it's, it's not the same. It's very different. I've definitely lost some size. I gained a little bit of weight, but dropped that because I started doing cardio again about like two, three weeks ago. So, you know, we're all caught. We're kind of right back where we were, but I feel like as each day goes on, my muscles are just getting smaller and smaller. And especially doing like legs, chest, and back, doing your compound movements, your deadlifts, your rack pulls, your squats, your presses. You know, it's just one of those things going heavy. It's not a must, but it helps with growth. So I'm going to be stretched. I'm going to finish my stretching routine, and then we're just going to get into it. I'm going to show you how to get huge at home because this isn't the gym this is my studio at home like i said at home back and buys at home we're gonna grow at home so i'm gonna finish up my stretching routine and we're gonna get right into it so i'll see you guys in a little bit question is now though what g fuel do i want for my pre-workout got this from the bogo this is just my collection i don't know i don't know you know what i think So normally I'll have my G Fuel out of a shaker when I'm playing editing, but because I'm about to work out, I just, I dry scoop, so I'm a gym rat, and I've been training for like six years at this point. Make sure you guys do use code obey at G Fuel to get 10% off your next order as well. So we're gonna have some sour phase berry. I think we're probably gonna do a scoop and a half. Most pre-workouts are 250 milligrams of caffeine, and I believe, no side inhaling that. I do believe, um, 150, that's about like 225 milligrams. Not going crazy with stims today. No, no craziness with stims today. Not doing that. Make sure you guys, if you're, if you're an athlete, if you're active, or if you have a high protein diet, um, make sure you guys drink your water, man. Water's really important, you gotta stay hydrated. Um, especially if you're dieting, if you're like, let's say you're doing low fat, low carb, and you're doing high protein water, it's so important, man. Helps you stay hydrated, helps you keep your kidneys healthy. My uncle is starting his motorcycle, so now I have to start yelling. Or his car, he has an old car in my driveway. It's been there for years. Uh, make sure you guys use Code Obey as another, one, like one more, one more reminder. Use, use Code Obey. I should probably use this as like a disclaimer a reminder. The daily recommended intake for caffeine is three, 300 milligrams a day. So that's two scoops of G Fuel, a can of G Fuel, cans are 300 milligrams. Don't go over that, it's not good for your heart. So now I'm gonna turn my music on in a sec and I'm probably just gonna mute out the audio and throw some music over it in Vegas because copyright. So yeah, we're just gonna hop into it now. So for the sake of my ears when I edit, normally, I listen, I have a metal playlist on YouTube that I listen to, but we're just gonna vibe out to my iTunes playlist, whatever I got on here. Um, so exercise number one, we're gonna warm up our lats. We're gonna do some really lightweight rows for maybe 10, 15 reps. We're gonna do that for four sets and then we're gonna go right into our band work. Be as creative as I can be. We're at home and we're growing at home. So let's get into it. sets of rows so now we're gonna do um like a, a t row variation with our resistance bands it's gonna be kind of hard for me to it's gonna be kind of hard for me to like angle my camera in a certain way i don't know if that logic if that makes any sense but what you're gonna do you got our it says 20 to 35 pounds on here i don't i don't i don't think that's accurate so what you're gonna do you're gonna step onto it the angle like on the floor how it should be you're gonna step onto it and you're gonna cross the two parts of the band that you're holding 
kind of like you're doing an arrow, an arrow grip T-row, you're going to cross the bands um, and you want to keep your back at 90 degrees, even though my form is kind of, eh, it's not, uh, it's okay, I guess. Neutral spine, um, normally when I'm in the gym I do about four to six sets, um, I build up a plate each individual set and then I drop down maybe four plates at most and then like I'll top off at four sets take a plate off first drop set and just go from there last set probably just gonna squeeze a lot because that's how you grow squeeze man I really miss the gym this is so sad all right we're gonna run we're gonna do it so now that I think about it just to save on a little bit of time normally when I'm at the gym I'll do Row, uh, dumbbell rows, and I'll superset with shrugs, but we're gonna do T rows and we're gonna superset that with shrugs. So, yeah. Just did our four sets of rows and shrugs. Starting to feel, starting to sweat. Got the window open, got outside world, the heat coming in my house. So, next we're gonna do, I guess, dump, we're gonna do dumbbell rows and then we're gonna do seated cable. Uh, resistance bands, rows. Yeah, man, I just, this is so hard. This is just, it did improvise, adapt, overcome. I'm not going to get negative. We're going to stay positive today. We're going to stay positive this back workout. So I'm going to do what I got to do with my camera, get the angle, get it all set, and we're going to hop uh, right back into it. All right, so just to shock the body a little bit, we're going to do dumbbell rows first, um, except this time we're going to go a little bit heavier. Instead of 12 pounds, we're going to do 20 pounds. Yeah, eight pounds difference. Crazy stuff. So, just finished up. Dumbbell rows and cable rows. So now we're gonna do a weird deadlift hinge variation. Normally when I'm at the gym, uh, my workout is usually shrugs, another row variation, different row variation, and then I'll do width. So pull downs. Holy God, I couldn't even. Th I couldn't think of that. That's not good. <laughs> pull downs, um, pull ups, and then those weird like other pulled that other pull down variation where it's not the wide ones and not the narrow ones, but it's this weird, I don't even know what the right term, rope, rope pull downs, if that makes any type of sense, I don't even know. Um, and then I'll do rack pulls at the very Normally end. don't do back and bias together simply because every row movement is a compound, meaning it hits your back and your biceps as well, plus any other tertiary or secondary muscles. So now we're gonna do this weird hinge, I'm falling asleep, this weird hinge variation. They're not fun, especially with a band. Um, having actual weight is so much better. But yeah, we're just gonna keep it moving right along and then we're gonna go into biceps after that. So it's the same uh, concept, you wanna hinge. So you kinda wanna like poke your butt out, back, neutral spine, back at 90 degrees, neutral spine. And then you come up, squeeze, and you're just, you're gonna do keep doing that. So I'm gonna leave my camera here, I hope. This is a good spot for it because I may or may not move it somewhere else. Um... So normally when I'm at the gym, rack pull. And when I deadlift on a healthy body, um, and I say healthy because my body is not in the healthiest of shapes right now. But on a like regular basis, I'll do maybe five to six sets of rack pulls. On a healthy body, that's six to seven sets or whatever. I just said five, six, I don't even know. That's usually, like on a, like on a regular body basis, that's about like maybe eight to 10. Some days you gotta go crazy with it, um, especially my off season training um, or like cut season training like for the summer. It's just more, 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 all constant. It's a constant. Constant thing. Heavy weight, a lot of set. No, not a lot of sets, maybe about five, six sets during the summer. <sighs> but yeah, okay. So I'll see you guys in the bicep portion. Alright, so just finished up the weird deadlift hinge rack pull variation thing, whatever. Um, did more. I did about five or six sets. I did like two or three with the band and then switched to dumbbells just to give my body a different feel. And now my back is screaming. So we're gonna hop into biceps and I guess forearms now too. I mean, 
whenever you grab a bar and you grip and you're you're, you're training you're <laughs> get the point um so yeah we're gonna start i guess just regular curls and then we're gonna superset that with hammer curls or reverse curls probably reverse curls just to torture our biceps um like three four sets uh 10 to 15 reps maybe more than that um no put that's pussy shit we're gonna do like 15 to 20 because that's how i do it at the gym need a new g i need another g fuel shirt this one's getting old All right, what's up guys? Just wrapped up, getting the biceps. I'm shot. Uh, it's always a burner at the very end. I'll be sure to put in the description sets and reps for everything. Um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this home workout routine. I hope I can get to filming in the gym one day once it goes back to 24 hour. Um, not 24 hour fitness, my, my gym is 24 hour. But until then, they're not even, my gym's not even open yet in New Jersey. Uh, I don't know when they're gonna be open. They were supposed to be open, like supposed to open Monday, but then our governor said, okay, I'm gonna give you the word. So I don't know, it could be another week from now, two weeks from now, a month from now, I don't know. So yeah, I hope I can start filming in the gym and eventually start posting like like my real workouts instead of this at home stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, if you learned a thing or two, um, like, comment, and sub. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe, subscriptions help. Sub if you're new. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go have a protein shake, probably take a shower, um, make food, and then start editing this and then upload it. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your today's Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And as always, it's been your boy Ryan DB, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.